Here seem to be many restrictions on school these days especially when it comes to using the internet. Some schools have this tendency to restrict access to some websites. This is why you end up not accessing the sites you want to visit when you're still around school premises. That is perhaps why you are reading this article. Well there are ways to get yourself back and even if you're logged out, anything that is blocked can be unblocked no matter how difficult. There is always a key for a keyhole. There are three ways to unblock a website. Use well-known domain. This is a free way to open up blocked site, it usually works but there are no guarantees. Schools tend to leave sites like Google, Yahoo and others open for students for research purposes you can take advantage of that. Use their services like Google Translate, Microsoft Translator and Yahoo Babelfish. Just use any one, open it and type the web address of the blocked site you want to visit off you go. Leave the Keep Translate from as Auto Detect then translate to English and click translate. It should now be open as long you are still in the translator environment. 2. Use VPN. A VPN allows you to visit any site you want and the tech guys won't know you visit there. It can't be traced to you as your details are logged either anonymously or with false information. A VPN creates a secure channel between your computer or phone and the VPN server. When you hook up to a VPN server, all of your online activities goes through that channel, so third parties can't track it. Your online identity or that is your IP address becomes anonymized, and you can then unblock blocked websites. You'll also get a higher level of security than translation services. You'll get the luxury of choosing many servers in many different countries. Can change your internet identity. Available in many platforms, Android, Mac, Windows and iOS. You can check them out. 3. Use proxy The last is using proxies, this too is similar to translate method above, and works a little like VPN except that you can't choose a 7 or are you guaranteed security. Proxies encode the site you want to visit and displays them via it, just like third party. There are many free and paid proxies available today but some of this free proxies have slow connections, even web pages may end up not displaying correctly.